seven Spanish angels took another angel home. Hey, I'm Willie Nelson. You're watching Hip Rock TV. We don't run, and we don't compromise, we don't quit, we never do. Howdy, friends and neighbors. I'm Mass Sergeant Tony Vance, the voice of Freedom's Voice. Tonight, we're going to talk about the dark heart exposed. With all the howling over the outrageous comments Mr. Trump makes or made during his presidency, one thing nobody's commenting on, and that is that he is saying out loud what these people say in private when they talk about poor or black or marginalized people. Now, Republican outrage is nowhere to be found. And that makes you wonder. I have never had my service or benefits that I received for that service questioned by a person of the Democratic persuasion. But I must admit, I have on several occasions had my service and connected disability questioned by staunch Republicans. A Republican relative on my wife's side of the family went so far as to call my wife and tell her we were no longer considered part of the family because, <laughs> and this is funny if it wasn't so sick, because I was granted VA disability. She then went on about her husband not being able to get his Social Security because I was using up all the money. <laughs> These people are very well off. They're millionaires. You know, why the wealthy begrudge our veterans and the poor what little help and benefit the government might give them is beyond my understanding, but it is the fabric of what they say when they think no one is listening. If you're poor, it's not because of systemic poverty. It's because you haven't done enough. You're lazy and weak and you'll just blow it on stuff that don't matter. That's what they say. That's how they look at us. You know, unless you're some kind of bigwig. You're one of us, and they hate us. They hate us for wanting a share of the wealth. Remember Romney's 40% comment, 47% comment, that 47% of the people would not vote for him, the 47% who were takers? That's us. We didn't earn our what we get from the government, we're taking it. That's what they say about us. He gave that speech at a uh, some kind of gathering of rich bigwigs. That's how they talk about us when we're not listening. You know, uh, Chuck Grassley, same damn thing. Uh, oh, I think getting, this is a quote. Oh, I think getting rid of the estate tax proves that people are investing and not wasting their money on booze or movies or women. We have no ability to control ourselves. We can't manage money. That's why we're poor. We're not poor because the wealthy are ripping off every damn penny they can. We're poor because we haven't worked hard enough. Guy's got two jobs and they're telling him he hasn't worked hard enough. What the hell's the matter with these people? You know, if we pulled a 5% tax on the wealthy and created a universal basic income and health care, they'd still be billionaires. What the hell are we waiting for? You know, Trump may have been a jerk, but he was saying out loud what these jerks say in private. And they're talking about you. If you make less than a half a million dollars, they're talking about you. 
you'd be uh, well on your way to riches if you just worked harder. We're not going to raise your wages, but we want you to work harder. Seven dollar twenty point twenty five cent minimum wage, and then uh, uh, servers only get two dollars and something because for somehow all of a sudden tips counted, and they want to be able to tax and and count them as part of your uh, salary and stuff. That was Herman Cain and the restaurant board people who did that. Haven't they taken enough of what we earn? Do they have to have more? Are they so gluttonous that they need more wealth? I don't understand why they begrudge the government helping poor and marginalized people out. It's not hurting them any. What in the hell happened to Christian values and all that? Forget that. You're a taker. You're taking. I won't have it because you're taking. That's what they want. That's how they talk about us. Get out there and when it's time to vote, vote. And don't vote for these gluttonous pigs who just want more wealth and think you're a loser because you're poor. Most poverty in our country is systemic. We could end abject poverty with a universal basic income. You think they'd do that? Oh, hell no. People might not work. Oh, my God. No, they'll look for a better job with a better salary because they'll have a grand to fall back on while they're looking. These people do not care about you except for you to work so they get wealthier. We need a universal basic income and universal health care. And that will give our workers financial freedom. They won't have to take that crappy job. They can look for a better one. We can improve our lives. We need to somehow make these people see that they're prejudiced against the poor and the marginalized is just what it is, prejudice. There's no welfare queen with a thousand kids helping pay for her Cadillac. Reagan made that up. There was no difference between crack cocaine and, and regular cocaine. Reagan made that up. The war on drugs. Nixon made that up. They do things to marginalize poor and brown and black people. That was the whole point of the crack cocaine deal. Blacks were using crack cocaine, so it's ten times worse. We got to jail them ten times longer. When in reality, the damn war on drugs was started as a way to harass Nixon's political enemies. It had nothing to do with the drugs, as admitted to by John Ehrlichman. Were we lying about the drugs? Of course we were. That's a quote. They don't care about you except to keep you down and poor and working. They're all oh, the $300 for unemployment is going to keep people from working. No, it's going to keep them home to look for a better job. Maybe if you paid decent wages, you wouldn't have to worry about whether people will work or not. Almost makes you want to call for a strike. All working people, just strike, just one day. And show them what the hell it'd be like if we're not available. The real heroes of the pandemic are the people who went out there and kept bringing the groceries and nurses and healthcare workers and all that. Those are the real heroes. The villain is Donald Trump, 500,000 dead people. 
I did a little research. Nixon's war on drugs ruined the lives of 400 million people. And we're still doing it. Marijuana is still illegal. It was made illegal to harass the people who use it. Period. They were lying about the drugs. They said so. Another way of keeping poor people marginalized and down. And harass your political enemies. Yippee. A twofer. Don't let them do this. Don't let them call us names behind our back and marginalize us and say crap like maybe you need another job when you already got two. They have killed the golden goose. The golden goose that was going to drive this economy was the middle class, and they have destroyed it. They have ripped off so much uh, revenue, and the poor and the middle class end up making, making up for it. It's time it stopped. Stop the prejudice and stop the wealth. We don't want to be equally wealthy. We want to be equitably wealthy. Now, we can end abject poverty in America with a universal basic income. Simple as that. Why we don't do it, I don't know. But that's where we're at. We're, we're the other. We're those poor people that might come and take our money. That's what it is. They're scared of us. It's time we demand our fair share. Don't mess around about it. There you go. See you next time. Oh, on the cancer front. We did seven rounds. They did a scan. The tumor is less than half of what it was. The metastasis is, there's still some there. So they're going to do six more rounds beginning Saturday. And so I don't know if I'll get any shows out, but I'll try. At least things are going well. I'm all strung out, but that'll end when the chemo ends, if we get it all out, get all the cancer out. We'll just have to see. Y'all take care. See you next time I can get up enough energy to do a show. Hi, I'm Willie Nelson, and the Willie Nelson Teapot Party and I endorse Veterans for Medical Cannabis Access. Just roll me up and smoke me when I die.